right, here we go. Welcome into the show. This is the San Francisco 49ers Report by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Sr. And no matter where you are, how you're tuned in, as always, I greatly appreciate all of you for making today's show a part of your day. Coming up, good news on the horizon for the Niners as they are set to get multiple key players back in the coming weeks. And it's really going to help out this football team. First, let's start off with this. It's a bye week for the Niners, a week of rest for a banged-up football team. They'll play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers coming up in Week 10. But I'm curious, how will you spend your Sunday with no Niners football? Share your weekend plans with me down in the comment section right now. And I hope everybody out there getting set to have a fantastic weekend. So these players are expected to return for the Niners over the next few weeks. NFL Offensive Player of the Year last year, Christian McCaffrey at that running back spot. One of the top linebackers in the NFL in Dre Greenlaw, a great sidekick to Fred Warner. Talano Hufonga, an all-pro back in 2022. Injury plague seasons, his last two. And then a free agent acquisition who a lot of people haven't become familiar with in Yatur Gross Matos because he's barely played for this team, but he does have ability and versatility at that defensive end and defensive tackle spot. Think Arden Key when you think about Yatur Gross Matos. Will the Niners in addition to those players who we just showed you, get even more additions to the roster with Tuesday's NFL trade deadline nearing. Here's what John Lynch had to say about that this week. Nothing's imminent right now. I will tell everyone that. But if something does come together here, the trade deadline's on election day. Interesting how they did that. But if anything comes by then, that makes sense. It can make us a better football team, fits with our financial position and all those things then we'll certainly pull the trigger. As for where the Niners are right now and where their thinking could be, think about it from the shoes and the seat and the vantage point of Lynch and Kyle Shanahan. They're probably having these conversations, right? Well, we're going to get Christian McCaffrey back, Dre Greenlaw, Talano Hufanga, Yatur Gross Matos over the next, let's call it, month, right? Some players back sooner as compared to others. Those are really good additions for your football club, and they can really help shore up some of the weaknesses and blemishes that you have on your roster. The Niners could also be thinking, do we want to make a move? We like our young players, Renardo Green, Dominic Pooney, Ricky Pearsall, Jacob Cowing, Malik Mustafa. Let's see what we have, continue to play them, and let's see what they can do with their ascending development. The Niners could also be thinking, are we even good enough? If not, Let's play it out, play these young players, not make a move, and then next year when we get healthier, we'll be right in the thick of the race in the NFC and in Super Bowl contention. As John Lynch also said, if there's a player out there that we believe could help us and fits what we're looking for as far as our organizational profile, we could decide to trade for a player and pull that trigger. As for Christian McCaffrey, the expectation is that he will play next week against the Buccaneers. He's been ramping up his physicality this week as far as coming back off that bilateral Achilles tendonitis if it all goes well for the remainder of this week and he's able to practice next week as San Francisco opens up his practice window, then he could play in Tampa. Whether he comes back, we'll certainly see. When he does come back or if he comes back this year, here's how he can help the Niners. He's one of the NFL's top skill players. And he's so dynamic with the ball in his hands, running it and receiving it. I think he's really going to be able to help out this 28th ranked Niners red zone offense. They've had no issues in moving the football. But once they get inside the 20, whether in the, they're in the low red area or the high red area, they haven't been able to punch it in and finish those drives with touchdowns. But with McCaffrey, he's such a game changer where... He adds such a fascinating element to your offense where he can help you get into the paint. Defenses are going to have to account for him in a plethora of ways. He's going to open up opportunities for others, and he's a home run threat. Regardless of where you are on the field, he can take it to the house at any moment. The last two years, we've seen how productive and special of a player that he is. In 2023, led the NFL in all-purpose yards, tied for first in touchdowns for non-quarterbacks. He was the NFL Huffett's Player of the Year, and he was top five in MVP voting. It truly will go down as one of the finest running back seasons that we'll ever see. He runs for nearly 1,500 yards, 5.5 yards per carry, 14 touchdowns on the ground, 
seven more through the air, so 21 total touchdowns last year. But him being a receiving threat is what makes him so unique. 67 catches, 564 yards. And the year before that, he was excellent with the Niners after the trade. He was pretty good with Carolina before the trade. He ran for over 1,100 yards. Yards per carry, 4.7. He had eight touchdowns on the ground. 85 catches for 741 yards. It's so unique with what he's able to do in the pass game. If you're excited about these looming additions, I want you to hit that thumbs up icon and like the video. If you don't think it will matter because the Niners are flawed, then I want you to share and comment why. More to get to here on the show, but first, let's give a shout out to our sponsor, Game Time, for making today's Niners report possible. This is the only ticketing app that I use, and it's the best one in what is a competitive and crowded marketplace. Why? They have the best seats at the lowest price guarantee. They specialize in last-minute tickets as prices drop as the event gets closer. So download the Game Time app, create an account, use the code CHATSPORTS, C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S, for $20 off. Terms apply. First purchase only. It's not just an app for sporting events. Thanks to Game Time Picks, curation makes it easier to find tickets to games, but also concerts, comedy shows, theater events, and more. I talk sports for a living, so sometimes I like to unplug a little bit, check out a concert, check out a comedy show, laugh, enjoy some good tunes. If you want to go to Niners Bucks or any Niners game this year, home or away, plenty of tickets available. I'm a big fan of how you can see the view from your seat before you buy, so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. So one more time, download the Game Time app, Create an account. Use the code CHATSPORTS, C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S, for $20 off. Terms apply. First purchase only. What time is it? Yeah, you already know. It's game time. As for the injury status for Dre Greenlaw, great news for this Niners defense because they've really struggled at that linebacker spot and at that second level with him out outside of Fred Warner. Kyle Shanahan saying this this week, I'd probably be surprised if it was right after the bye week, but I do think right after that, it'll be week to week, which means if everything goes right, it'll be a sooner week than a later week for whatever the diagnosis is. How Greenlaw can help San Francisco. Look, Trey Greenlaw and Fred Warner are one of the best linebacker tandems in the NFL. Sideline to sideline range. Up and down the field, they have that range. Against the pass, against the run, they both bring speed, physicality, fire, confidence, and they inject fear into the opponent. Dre Greenlaw is the Niners' enforcer for a reason. When other teams turn on the tape, when all of us turn on the tape, we see 57 causing havoc, wreaking havoc, and making plays. Outside of Fred Warner, Niners linebackers have struggled badly, especially with the player like Devondre Campbell in coverage, even though he was much better against the Dallas Cowboys. He's just not to the likes of Dre Greenlaw when he's healthy. Speed, physicality, and instincts, obvious traits that pop off the screen when you watch Greenlaw, and his impact, profound and noticeable. Without him this year, the Niners have felt it. Without him in the Super Bowl, it led to the Niners partially losing that game. And Greenlaw last year put together a really good regular season. I thought he played at an all-pro caliber level. This is a good indication of when sometimes the analytics don't go to show you how special and how meaningful a player is because regular season numbers to the left of your screen, and these numbers are still really good, right? An overall PFF grade of 69.3, a coverage grade according to Pro Football Focus of 72.1, and a run defense grade of 70.9. Again, all those numbers really good. But in the NFL playoffs, he took his game to another level when the lights were shining the brightest, and he was truly, truly spectacular. Overall, PFF grade went up to 80.2, coverage grade 89.7, and a run defense grade 55.8. The coverage grade there of nearly 90, just so important for the Niners' defense during that playoff run, and obviously the two interceptions of Jordan Love really helped boost those numbers. As for Talanoa Hufanga, there was a report from Mike Silver that some people within the organization didn't think that he was going to be able to come back, but then Hufanga's agent told Mike Silver he is going to come back, but when he does, he's going to have to wear a cast on his wrist as he has some torn ligaments in there. But this is an all-pro player 
on your defense. He's versatile, and he can play all across the yard. He really does have a knack for making big-time plays always around the football. He gives San Francisco a lot of the same things that Dre Greenlaw does, physicality, instincts, diagnosing plays, and he also gives you much-needed safety depth. Now, I don't think it should come at the cost of taking Malik Mustafa and Jair Brown off the field all that much. You've seen some glimpses and improvements from Brown. You see potential with Malik Mustafa. But it's not like you have to take them off the field because Hufanga can really play in multiple areas, around the line of scrimmage, hybrid linebacker, safety. Sometimes the Niners do try to hide him because he does struggle in coverage. But like Greenlaw, he brings this team an injection of this confidence and swagger and this fight, fight, fight type of mentality. And I think the Niners have really missed him this year, even though sometimes he can get burnt when he's at single high safety or dropping back in coverage. How Yaturgros Matos can help this team, a little-known player on this Niners defense. He's a good player. He's physical. He's a long athlete. Wingspan is more than 80 inches. He's tall. He does remind me a lot of Arden Key with the way that he's able to play defensive end and defensive tackle. The Niners are short on depth at both of those positions. And before he got hurt again, on 50 pass rushing snaps, he had five pressures and four hurries. So that's making an impact right there. The Niners, ladies and gentlemen, are 4-4 four and four going into the bye. We're at about the halfway point of the 2024 season. Which record and what record will the Niners finish with? Let me know down in the comment section right now.